Hi everyone! In this video, I am going to show you how to insert an image into your assignment in Blackboard. Now in Blackboard, the assignment will include a text field here, which is where you will include all the text and all the material that is pertinent to your assignment. So for example, I'm going to start off by typing some text in here. Now suppose that for my assignment, I need to include a graph, and I've generated a graph over here. In my assignment, I really don't want to include this graph as just a regular old file attachment because then it will not appear visually as part of my assignment. That is undesirable for two reasons. Number one, because my image won't have the same visual impact to support my assignment. And number two, other students or my instructor may not click the attachment and therefore they might not see it at all. So I really want to insert this image directly into the body of my post. Now. I do not want to just try to copy and paste this image into my post. If I do this, the image will be visible to me, but my instructor and classmates probably won't be able to see it. So again, please do not copy paste the image into your post. The first thing I need to do is save my graph or table or image as an image file to my computer. Now depending on what program you're using, this may be done in different ways. You may be able to click on something here or here to save the image to your computer. You might be able to right click on the image and choose an option to save. For example, this particular graph was generated with the program StatCrunch and I can right click here and select save image as. Another way, if I don't see any of these options, is I can use some kind of a snipping tool on my computer. I'm using a Windows machine, so I can go to my search bar on the bottom left and type in snipping tool and select this tool that comes up. When this opens, I can select new, and then I can use my mouse to draw a box around the image that I want to save. When I release the mouse, an image of the selection I selected pops up and then I can select File, Save As, and I can save this image to my computer. Once you have your image saved, you are ready to insert it into your post. In your post, select this icon that's on the bottom row, the one that kind of looks like a tiny picture of a sun and a mountain. Select Browse My Computer, and then browse to the folder wherever you saved your file. Click on the file and select Open. You can give the image a description. You can give it a title. You can click on Appearance, and you can set the alignment. You can set the size. So a nice size is maybe starting at 400 or 500 here, something like that. It depends a little on the type of image you're trying to insert. Then click Insert, and your image is now insert into the main body of your assignment. You can adjust the size of the image by clicking on it and dragging the mouse with these anchors here to make it bigger or smaller, whatever you want. You want to make it a reasonable size so that everyone can read it, but you don't want it to be humongous so that it's this huge monstrosity on your page. That makes it hard for everyone to read your text. You want a nice medium-sized image so that everyone can read it without it overwhelming your text or the page in general. When you're all done, click Submit, and your image has been inserted directly into your post. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful in teaching you how to insert images.